Hey, good Monday morning. Monday morning, yeah, I'm coming to you from the sanctuary of St. Luke's United Methodist Church here in Harrisville, West Virginia. And I just want to remind us as we begin this new week to think about the words that we use. Think about the way we speak to other people. Think of the way we treat other people. You know, our world is in need of kind people. Our world is in need of followers of, of Jesus who really live out that call to love God and to love neighbor. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 21, the author wrote, The tongue has the power of life and of death. And I know that the way we treat other people, the way we talk to other people, the way we post on social media, the way we comment on other people's posts, it can encourage, it can build up, but at the same time, it can also tear down, it can destroy. And so we need to think about the words that we use. We need to think about the way we speak to other people. James wrote in his epistle, in chapter 3, verse 7, all kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, creatures of the sea. They're all tamed and have been tamed by man, but no man can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With the tongue, now listen to this, with the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse men. We curse humanity. We curse our neighbors. We curse our family. We curse other people. That's what James is saying. We curse other people who have been made in God's image, in God's likeness. And then he says, out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. And James is encouraging followers in his day to think about the way they speak to their neighbor, what they say about their neighbor, what they say to their neighbor. Be wise when you go out into the community. And as Proverbs 18, 21 reminds us, the tongue has the power of life and of death. So many people are struggling today. So many people are posting their needs on social media. And our words, our encouragement can help or they can hurt. And I pray that what we do, what we say, will breathe life and hope into the situation that others are facing. And think about it before we speak, before we post, before we comment. Let's use our words to breathe life into that person's situation. This is Pastor Bill from St. Luke's United Methodist Church, Harrisville, West Virginia, Ritchie County, West Virginia. Wherever you are, I hope you're happy. I hope you're healthy. And I hope you're safe. Have a great day, everybody. And God bless.